Dan here from Rosie and Maple Syrup. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about end of season membrane care. You've all invested a lot of money in your RO machines, especially the membranes. And today I want to walk through a simple process that we use at the end of the season to make sure these are clean and stored properly so they'll be able to be used again in your upcoming syrup season. Okay, we've got a lot of RO videos on our channel. At the end of this video, there'll be a link to a playlist with all of them. But specific to end of season care, we do have a video out there in regard to how to do a soap wash. And that's a prerequisite to storing your membranes for the off season. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you've flushed with permeate all of the sap out of your RO. Then go ahead and do that soap wash. And there's a link to that video that you can watch how we did that for a single membrane unit. And then you're gonna flush all that soap out again until you return to neutral. That's a, a base solution when you're doing that wash. It's um, sodium hydroxide, uh, which is uh, typically in the pH range of about 12 to 13 is where you'd wanna take that. There's also links below for where you can buy the RO soap as well as litmus paper to help do that wash operation. But again, follow that video and then you're gonna do a complete flush and then you're ready to move on to the final steps, which is preparing the preservative and then actually putting those membranes away. And then we've got another video for how to rinse those and flush them all out and get them ready for your following season. The method we used this year involved taking the membranes out of our RO machine after performing the flush, wash, flush cycles and storing them in a five gallon bucket with the preservative mixed in. In order to prepare the preservative solution, we used a carbon block filter from Membrane Solutions to filter our city water and remove any chlorine. We also boiled our water to eliminate any chance of there being bacteria. At that point, we let this cool down to room temperature and we began mixing in about two teaspoons of this membrane preservative bought from Liter for every five gallons of water. We then arranged our membranes in the five gallon bucket and poured the preservative solution in, filling it to the top and making sure all the membranes were covered. At that point, we fastened our lid on and we're good to go for the off season. One of the reasons why we took our membranes out of our housings and stored them in a five gallon bucket was because we wanted to keep an eye on them over the off season. And this makes it a little bit easier to do so. Instead of opening this up and checking on them, we could actually just open up this lid right here and peek inside and see that they are looking perfectly clean and the water is clear. Okay, we've opened this up. We're gonna take a look inside and see how this all looks. Okay, awesome, they all look good. Uh, nice and clean and clear, no mold or mildew growing in here at all. Uh, so now we're going to take these out. You can see we fit nine of these in a five gallon bucket. We're going to take these out, put them back into our RO, and go ahead and do that final preseason flush following the video that we did last year. And then we should be all set and ready to go for this spring. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Number one, at the end of the season, you're gonna to wanna to do your final permeate flush. Then you're gonna to wanna to do an RO soap wash, followed by another permeate flush. At that point, you're gonna to wanna to prepare the preservative solution, pull your membranes, arrange them in the bucket, pour the preservative in, close the lid, and wait a year, and then start with a flush before your next season. It's important to note that that final flush will be done almost a year later, right before your following season is about to kick off. Typically, you wanna do that just a week or two ahead of time, so that way there's no opportunity for any bacteria to build up in that system before you start processing sap. I wanna thank Membrane Solutions for sponsoring this video and sending us the newest model of their um, three-inch membranes. These are 600 gallon per day membranes, quite a bit of an upgrade over the original 400. They went later to a 500 gallon per day all the way up to 600 gallon per day. So if you're looking to get a little bit faster processing time, these are a great option. There'll be a link below to the Amazon store where you can find these as well as other membrane sizes from Membrane Solutions. I also wanna thank my wife and kids for giving me this awesome t-shirt for Christmas. 
I want to thank you all for stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to care for your membranes and store them for the off season. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other sugaring related content that we have. Thanks again for stopping by.